A play about ambition. A study on men being in love. A brilliant, concise play that centres around an act of violence. Being in love with ideas. About talking for the people, but maybe not listening to them too much. Being in love with each other. But more than that, it's about friendship and the love that may indeed occur within the walls of a Senate. And of course, what happens when you're in love is you fall out of love and you get betrayed. The joy and the genius of Shakespeare is that, um, yes, he can be very sexist in some of his texts, but when it comes to um, uh, writing, particularly for men, he's extraordinarily human. He, he, he captures the heart of every man, and every man is every woman. Cross-casting of Kate Mulvaney is obviously interesting to have what is a very famous male role played by a younger woman is fascinating and she's the driving force behind the conspiracy and Kate's super bright and so you can see why she would be able to at times manipulate this group of people. The same basic rules of humanity apply to both sexes so it really doesn't make much of a difference and if anything it's probably more accurate in our day and age when we do allow women to have positions of power. Cassius is quite dismissive of women and female qualities and that coming out of a female character now is really interesting. Everyone knows the story or at least is partially aware and we've interpreted it in quite a different way. As well as wanting to work with Kate as an actor, I'm also a big fan of Kate uh, Mulvaney as a writer. Well, when I first started writing the play, it was always the blokey play. It was the one that, you know, we all have, as an actor, you know Julius Caesar, but it was, there's, there's only two female roles in Julius Caesar and 40 male characters. So you need to be smart about whether you do lots of doubling or what we decided to do was conflate characters. So you get characters um, that maybe disappear through the play, keep going through the play, which I think is really smart and lets the audience spend more time with them. I think people when they come and see Julius Caesar won't see a historical piece, they'll see a, a present piece. And I think that's a really wonderful surprise that people get when they do see it, that it's, we associate Caesar with Rome, but we can also associate Caesar with any number of politicians or people in the public eye that are around us now. Thank you.